So today is Lily's kitchen and it is one of my Lily's kitchen and it is one of my favourite dog biscuits. If you're going to eat dog biscuits then this is definitely up there top 10 and I'm going to tell you why. behind Lily's kitchen. Well, once, they did, once they found out what normal dog food was made out of, they decided to cook all of Lily's food from scratch. And this is how Lily's kitchen was born. Because they decided that they wanted to change the base of dog food and make it correct. Make it healthy, make it how it should be. This is how this food came about. It is made with finest ingredients. They're all carefully mixed together. They're all steam cooked in batches to preserve all the nutrients. The meat that they, they use is from muscles and organs, including livers. There's no nasty dried meat or meat meal, so that's hard for the dogs to digest. And I never see meat meal Ah, this is, this is like tails. That's in, a, in a, another one that's coming up. Uh, lots of healthy vegetables, orchard fruits and berries and I will give you the list that is coming up in a sec and healthy herbs and botanicals. There's also prebiotics added in, natural joint care added in, so great for your older boys and girls and essential nutrients such as your omega-3s, 6s which is great for uh, mineral optimization and nutrient, nutrient absorption. So it's great for baby cooking. So, I will get into what is actually in all of these biscuits. Now the biscuits themselves. Obviously gonna differ by my pack with the little round things. Go down well, don't they, boys? Yeah. They taste it. Mm. Mm. So this is the chicken and duck one, and in the chicken and duck, we have freshly prepared chicken at thirty-one percent. Duck at 8%, chicken livers at 3%, then it's sweet potatoes at 30%, peas at 6.5%, lentils, pea protein, flax seeds, eggs, chicken gravy, calcium carbonate, good for bones, salmon oil, good for coats. We've got FOSS, which we found out from another food brand, Wolfworthy, uh, which is um, a, a good thing to have. Um, Manan, Moss which is another good thing to have. Apples, haven't seen those in a dog food before. Vitamins and minerals. Carrots, spinach, haven't seen that in a dog food before. Cranberries, haven't seen that in a dog food before. Uh, glucosamine, good for your dog's joints. Keeping them moving, keeping them supple. Another long word I can't. <laughs> Methylsulfolimethane. I will Google that. Chondritin, another one for joints. Then you've got all of these botanicals and herbs, alfalfa, rose hips, chickweed, cleavers, goldenrod, nettles, kelp, celery seeds, milk, thistle, dandelion root, burdock root, marigold petals and chickweed root. All of these, <coughs> all of these are really good for all natural goodness. They're not man-made additives that are gonna be thrown into your dog's food to achieve the same effects. They are natural born, straight from the plant, straight into your dog's food. This, uh, I've always liked this, this brand of food because they have thrown a lot of stuff into it and they do do a lot of research into what is actually good for your dog. 
bag is also compostable. So once, once you're done with your dog's food, this can go straight in the compost. There's no lies on, on the bag either. It's an um, immune system boost from all the botanicals that I've just said. Bone and joint support. From the... You are so useless. Bone and joint support from the glucosamine and chondritin that they've thrown in there as well. And prebiotics to aid in the healthy digestion, which is um, aided in, helped in by the, the moss and the foss, which we've seen before in other foods like the wolfworthy one. Spinach and alfalfa and things like that and eggs are all great for binding and, and keep making sure your dog's coming out with healthy things. So it's all, it's all good, all good things. Yeah, no artificial additives, there wasn't anything in there. Or fillers, so there wasn't any rice, any maize, any anything that um, a, a company like this would throw in to bulk out a, a food just to a, a cheap way of filling out a biscuit rather than putting in good ingredients, which is good to see. I've always liked this brand, so um, and these these kind of things, um, this brand isn't that expensive either so you can pick these uh, this one up it's probably about i want to say six seven quid i will double check that for you Their background is one I can relate to because I would do exactly the same for my two if I didn't, I don't, if I if I didn't feel that the dog's food was um, up to scratch, which is why I went to raw because I know what I'm putting into my dogs. But this is why I'm making these videos so that you now know and know what to look for in your dog's food and what brands if any, if you're looking for dog biscuits, if you're looking for raw food, if um, if that's what if biscuits is what you're planning on going down, then you need to know what biscuits are the best ones for your dog. So yeah, Lily's Kitchen, I'm quite happy to give a five out of five. They've done their research. It is a healthy food. There's no extra rubbish in the dog's food that is going to harm or isn't necessary for them to have so it's, it's just going to get pooped straight out so everything in there is going to get absorbed, used and ultimately that's what you want. Make your dogs healthier by giving them something good. I think it's a good size to put in Kongs as well and um, treat balls and things like that. They're not too small, they'll just fall out. Lily's Kitchen, uh, Lily's Kitchen also does a massive, massive range of different types of food. This is obviously the chicken and duck one with sweet potato and peas. You saw the list of all the dry food that Lily's Kitchen do earlier. So here is the list of all the wet food that they do for the dogs.
I will also wholeheartedly admit that Lily's Kitchen is the brand that we take on holiday when we go away, as raw food is a bit of a faff to take away on holiday, unless you know you're going to a place you have a fridge or a freezer with you. <laughs> you can't always guarantee that, especially if you're going camping, things like that, you can't guarantee that you can take raw food with you wherever you go. So Lily's Kitchen is, is my go-to wet food when the boys have had a, had a rough day out on the trails with me. Um, they get wet food and, um, uh, and a good biscuit at the end of the day. So yes, that is, um, I'll, I'll fully admit to using Lily's Kitchen when we, use, when we go on holidays. Lily's Kitchen, five out of five. Don't forget to subscribe for me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.